This is Midwest Farm Weekly, presented by Focus on Energy. Well, good morning. I'm Mike Austin, and welcome to Midwest Farm Weekly. Coming up, well, on today's Midwest Farm Weekly, we're going to look at some of the topics that got attention of the delegates at the American Farm Bureau Convention. Also, mechanization is becoming more mainstream for our milking dairy cows, and we're going to check in on the positives of the dairy checkoff. But first, there certainly was plenty to talk about at this year's National Farm Bureau Convention, including an address by the president. But still, the main focus of the delegates were on some of the same issues they've been talking about for quite some time. Although the location might have been different, the issues were pretty much the same especially with dealing with topics like immigration and farm labor. Different states need different options. Your sugar cane down south, the sugar, they want the contract up by us. Dairy industry, we need that consecutive years, years, not just a couple months. So it's trying to meet and come together, find a good program that works for everyone. Now with the availability of labor tightening, I asked this a way of resolving the labor farm issue has really become more urgent. It's always been a priority. I, I think for the last couple of years, it's been a strong priority. It's just finding the compromise, and it's hard to find that. Everyone's got to give a little bit. Now, delegates at the convention also spoke up about the government shutdown, an issue that is affecting them. Um, the hardest part, I think, once well is um, not getting the loans. Um, not getting your payments, or maybe even the market pricing, right. going to the website, which is really hard not seeing what the prices of issues are. It's not being updated. So it, it, it's a struggle. But the major topic in New Orleans was tariffs and trade and the need to have greater market access. It's tough, but I think everyone understands what he's trying to do um, with the trades out there that there weren't fair trades for the egg industry. And I know that's what he's pushing for. The hard problem is it takes a long time to get that trade deal made and to get it to go through. It's not a three months. It's probably a, a year, two, three years out that it really takes for this trade to go through, and they're difficult to do. Now, another topic that drew quite a bit of attention from the delegates was the topic of hemp. And the delegation from Wisconsin, well, they were one of the more excited ones industrial hemp either you use the seed or you use the stock of it but if, whichever one you have you have to have a processor to process it further for you I think it's something that's exciting because it's something that Wisconsin was strong in number one and right. down Beaver Dam I think was a top area so um, some of them on our board has just have been very excited about it because we're growing it it was in the farm bill so now they're able to move it forward. So it, it's an advantage to Wisconsin because we got the right ground, the right area. It is another option for us. Uh, we can move it across state lines. The hardest part is the processing of it. That's where, where we need the processors, more processors. Well, with the passage of the new farm bill and the creation of Dairy RP, dairy producers have more tools in their toolbox when it comes to risk management options. The question is, how many are actually using those tools? Well, we know in agriculture, a study from USDA indicated that 63% of net farm revenue comes from marketing decisions. I tell you, I wish these producers would spend as much time with markets as they do producing milk. And the reason why is because producers are missing out on better price opportunities. Every year, a dairy farmer or a farmer in general has an opportunity to sell their production at 20% profitability, yet very few do. And so I think that farmers, to be profitable in the time forthcoming, need to be more attentive to markets. And market analyst Brian Doherty also echoes those thoughts. What I encourage producers to do is to really keep a tight eye. We're still in a supply-driven market, so when we get rallies, look at them. Just stay sharp with the pencil. Uh, stay in communication with somebody that can keep an eye on this for you and set the table with different strategic ideas. Doherty also believes it's time that producers take a different approach when it comes to markets. Sometimes we hear people say this, Mike, and that is, well, keep it simple or don't overcomplicate it. Uh, I'm going to challenge that, that mindset at times. Tough times require tough people. Tough people have to be mentally sharp. They have to look at every tool. They have to look at how to try and add value. And he has a suggestion for producers, no matter how much experience they have with the markets. Sharpen that pencil. Ask those questions. Learn, learn, learn. Learn what you do know and what you don't know. What you don't know, see if you need to know it. 
And yet to come on Midwest Farm Weekly, we're going to look at the return on investment when it comes to the dairy checkoff.